What's up guys and welcome back to Daily Quest. As you can see, it's still fall. See now some people are going, Mr. Narrator, there ain't a lot of games with fall in the title. Well, I respectfully disagree. There happens to be a whole bunch of games, especially MMOs, with fall in the title. So if you think that I can't stretch this whole fall pun out throughout the entire season of fall, you're sadly mistaken. I mean, Fusion Fall was just the beginning. If you think that's all I got, oh man, you're in for a treat. See, what you don't know is that I don't actually like fall that much, but I do like all the pretty colors, and I do like that the trees die, even though they come back next year. And what's the number one killer of trees, aside from deforestation? Fire. So this week in honor of fire, we're going to be going over Firefall. <laughs> Firefall was the first game developed by Red 5 Studios, but the team has worked on other MMOs in the past. Their president, Mark Kern, was a team leader for Vanilla World of Warcraft, and he had one of the best recruiting strategies I have ever seen. He sent a package with a poem on it and a custom engraved MP3 player, which allowed you to hear a personalized message of him explaining to the potential employee their strengths and what the company was trying to accomplish. This extra effort of handpicking people and giving them more than just a phone call or email allowed the company to assemble a stacked team of developers and writers, including Orson Card, who you might know for his famous novel Ender's Game, and also Scott Youngblood, the lead designer from Star Siege Tribes 1 and 2. Scott said that he simply could not refuse the offer because he was blown away by the world and company that they were creating. Firefall was a futuristic looter shooter MMO that focused on PvE and crafting, along with finding a couple friends to take down this army of narcissistic creatures that call themselves the Chosen. They infested Earth after a starship explosion that created this titanic energy storm that enveloped the Earth. While PvE seemed to be center stage, there was also a lot of time dedicated to the PvP experience as well, making this game look like a complete and well-rounded MMO that had everything a player could ask for. For. While Mark Kern was recruiting heavily in 2007, early development would last three years because the first announcement of Firefall came on September 3rd, 2010 at PAX where they released a beautiful cinematic trailer. But there was also a gameplay video that came out one day later showing off the world and its combat. Firefall was like a combination of Borderlands and Halo with its large assortment of weapons you could use to murder aliens and its semi cell shaded art style. And the hype for this game spread quickly as everyone couldn't help but talk about this original next-gen MMO. Firefall was also able to make it on X-Play because G4 was still a thing back then. Hello, and welcome to Alley Play. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Morgan Webb. Today on Alley Play, we have this used needle. Now, some were convinced that the game wasn't ever actually going to come out because Firefall's first open beta wasn't until July of 2013, which was over five years after the start of development. The open beta was also shortly followed by a million dollar PvP tournament that was designed to boost the game's reputation in the esports community, but we'll get back to that later. First I want to talk about the character creation, it had a decent amount of options including the ability to change your character's voice. And the class system was fairly unique, where you would start out as a basic assault class then be able to switch later to one that better fits your playstyle. There were recon, medics, engineers, and other streamlined classes that you've seen before, but each of them also had three or four subclasses to choose from. Another game that used this system well was Eden Eternal. All of these classes were leveled up individually and you could switch them by calling down this pillar that falls from the sky mid-battle. The crafting system was fully fleshed out having you research what you wanted before you could actually start crafting it. And you would salvage your old weapons and gear to get material but you could also salvage and craft abilities. The extensive menus for crafting and researching seemed daunting at first but as you got used to the UI you realized that everything had its place. Unfortunately, down the line, crafting fell victim to the pay model, rendering it extremely inefficient, and instead had a new purpose, which was to get you to
to flat out spend your real money to buy what you wanted in game. In some cases, you couldn't even fast travel as a free player. I don't think you would classify Firefall as a pay to win game, but it was definitely pay for convenience. The tribe's influence showed through the jump jet system, which allowed players to stay in the air for extended periods of time during combat, and at one point you could exploit the system to fly around the game map. I loved the aesthetic of this game. The world of Firefall looked absolutely gigantic, mainly because the game actually took place on Earth. They even used Copacabana as a starting city, although I couldn't find any Barry Manilow NPC, even though it would have been a perfect opportunity because Barry Manilow did a cover of a song by the band called Firefall. But I digress. There was also an assortment of vehicles you could use in larger areas of the map. Now with this huge world and the shooter based combat, the game tended to drop frames a lot even on high end PCs at the time, and I'm not ashamed to admit that when I first got to play this game, I had to put all the graphics on low just so my system could handle movement. I wouldn't go as far as saying the game was poorly optimized, but if you didn't have some semi decent hardware to back firefall up, then you were in for a choppy stop motion experience. The missions in Firefall were fairly decent, there were still quests that had you kill X amount of creatures, but the missions were more scenario based, and some of them you could only do solo instead of in a group. In fact, later in Firefall's life it became more of a single player experience, which brings me to the actual combat. First off, you could play this game in first or third person. Yes, I am a snake. <laughs> Snake. And the diverse weaponry in this game along with secondary fires made combat stay fresh for quite a while and there was a plethora of loot for you to get. The movement had weight to it and the animations were above average in my opinion. In the first 10 or 20 hours of the game I managed to at least stay satisfied. But after that the gameplay loop became more repetitive and less entertaining. I had the same problem with Borderlands though so maybe the looter shooter genre just isn't for me. That being said there was a decent amount of creatures and bosses to kill, and most of them, especially the bosses, were pretty to look at. But now it's time to talk about the downward spiral that this game and Red 5 Studios ended up having to endure. They had to lay off over 40 employees in 2015 due to lack of funds, and there were even reports of the payroll being stopped completely at one point. Then in 2016 came patch 1.6, which would end up disintegrating the community. At this point, the Red 5 team was supposedly under pressure to get this patch released, and they did so before everything was sorted out. And there was a giant heap of bugs and glitches, like creatures being invisible, unbearable server lag, and some of these issues were prevalent before the patch came out, but on top of this there was a terrible migration issue, where you either had to start a new character, or cope with the fact that a large amount of the items you accumulated over the years, along with a large portion of the map, were taken out of the game. Combine that with the fact that most of the the map was level restricted then you can slowly see this vast open world get chiseled down into a completely different experience and now's a good time to go back to that tournament I mentioned earlier their attempt at gaining esports cred by holding a million dollar tournament did not gain enough traction in the industry and none of the money was paid out to anybody on top of that instance PvP was removed from the game firefalls community already dwindled over the years while still keeping a loyal following but patch 1.6 was the straw that broke the camel's back. And over the next year, even the loyal fans put down the game, leaving a player base of less than 100 players online a day. So inevitably, Red 5 Studios had to announce that on July 7th, 2017, Firefall would shut down, of course stating that it was with heavy hearts, and normally I like to go off on a tangent about the overuse of that specific phrase, but the simple fact is that everything else in this message bothers me more. There's no mention of a refund, there's no mention of some sort of final celebration, and they use this PR statement about their game shutting down as an advertisement for a new mobile game they will be developing. I wish Red 5 luck in the future, but to see them go from creating 
leaving what was supposed to be a revolutionary RPG with partial success to pushing out a mobile title is just sad. I don't think that any of the people that played Firefall have any interest in a game for their phone, so mentioning it in a statement about Firefall's shutdown is borderline insensitive to the community they managed to gather over the years. Listen, developers, in the event that your game does unfortunately shut down, treat that letter with respect. Please stop trying to turn obituaries into advertisements. But if you found yourself in Copacabana after a spaceship exploded that caused a massive storm to engulf the planet creating these mutant insects and animals then decided to put on your comically large armor and got into your turbo boosted bike and drove to a nest of these foul abominations then used an arsenal of weapons such as beam rifles, automatic snipers, and fucking rocket launchers to destroy every last one of them then Firefall is a game you might remember. Now feel free to share your experiences with Firefall in the comments below these leaves right here. If you enjoy me talking about various other topics in gaming or the Games You Might Remember series, then feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would just love it. It would be the best feeling in the whole world if you would subscribe to me. It would warm my heart. If you want to have a personal conversation with me, then join the Daily Quest Discord. There will be a link in the description, and you have a wonderful day. Each and every one of you, right, right there, right there. The person staring at me right now, you have a nice day.